squatters around Trash Island, where they enjoy a steady diet of hypodermic needles and used pregnancy tests. Hunger is a driving force for the bull shark. with albinism often suffer from poor eyesight and are quite sensitive to light. Seventy-three was a magical time in Port Clovis, when local favorite Trash Talk placed 20th in the Derby, and the city placed first in the country for petty theft. saving lives, but it's also about safeguarding tourism revenue. They put up money. Gotta be the best of something.
A bounty has been put out, and now a dangerous army of lawless, trigger-happy sadists begin shooting anything that moves. <laughs> The bartender life in Bobby Bojangles. Displays little caution as the situation further escalates. is over, and there will be an inevitable rush on dollar drafts at Flamingo Joe's. Mother Nature is very strategic with her apex predators. Most know him as the friendly face of Captain Winky's fish and chips. In real life, the pirate was a genocidal monster who murdered and enslaved thousands. Quiet space is the ideal stage for the shark to meditate and harness her pure potentiality.
The needle tooth nightmare, the Barracuda. Recognize it as the title of a classic rock radio staple. Did you know that it's also a fish? Well, it's true.
Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection. Local police departments settle a dispute over jurisdiction, these two remain a popular attraction for selfie seeking snorkelers. Stealthy predator appears to be seeking food perpetually, stalking its prey day and night. Shark is a major player in the balance of marine life. Hunters are on the water bringing their explosives and port impulse control with them. Just 
But I think it's probably a bad idea to get in the middle of Flamingo's natural migration cycles. Just saying. This is my least favorite part of the job. Wait, is that? With little fanfare, another bounty hunt comes up. Traveling around, we are constantly reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world. Back on board the Cajun Queen. That's Kyle, my son. He's just here for the summer. Studies marine biology. <laughs> Look at that. I got one hand can still tie a hook. You got two can barely tie his shoes. 
Must get that from his mama. Yeah. He used to have my daddy around. Spent a lot of time together. But we wasn't close. He was a shark on him. That's all he was. If anybody were gonna catch the mega, it'd be him. <laughs> Thought it was a government experiment, got himself loose. Boy, he wanted that shark. Wanted it bad. Found it once. Didn't catch it, no. What... what happened to your father? Huh? What happened? Look, uh... I ain't got time to answer questions all day. Got work to do. Just like Kyle LeBlanc, our young bull is the inheritor of a long family tradition, struggling to find her place in the world. natural intestinal support out of water, the shark's internal organs struggle to function. Port Clovis locals seldom miss an opportunity to indulge in mindless, gratuitous slaughter. Good workers, unlike my so-called son, Kyle. That's why I pay him to stay on the lookout for that child. Handyman special overlooking breathtaking panoramic lake views. Open living with vintage appeal. Call Devin.
the shark, perhaps having gone too far with her pranks and hygiene, is now the subject of a county-wide shark hunt. Savage shrimp. Obstinately digs in as the conflict escalates. has grown bored of the leaving our shark to fight and the appetite of this shark is nearly insatiable.
Sharks naturally gravitate to areas where food is available in abundance. Golden Shores was built as vacation residences for wealthy out-of-towners, with spectacular ocean views, private beach access, and a gate to keep out the locals. Sharks are scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible. 